advantage of your alumni powered network of more than 273,000 worldwide. Flying jumper, Bulls are going to get a new player into the lineup tonight. We'll talk about that in a moment. On the move, it's Sagu for Graves. Dump it off left handed from Williams. It's up, it's from distance. 39% from beyond the arc last year. Just another one in the long line of shooters, as I said. That's what makes this Mercyhurst team sort of a nightmare of a matchup. They can all step it outside and knock the shot down. Speaking of knocking the shot down, we'll trip to come in and play. Long three, Graves, short rebound tracked down by Graves after a tip from William Trip to come in and play. Long three, Graves, short rebound tracked down by Graves after a tip from Williams. Janathan will hoist it up. He's short. And the rebound pulled in. Little pass down low. They've had a couple of great passes. Haven't been able to finish as Zach McIntyre. And that's a rebound pulled down by Williams. Janathan sees an opening and puts it up in. Let's finish it up. Thank you very much there, Mr. Bruton. Good to see Trayvon Fagan back after missing all of last year with a knee injury. And there's a three from Janathan. From the right wing. In and out. A couple of Bulls battle for the board. It gets to Janathan Williams. And Janathan saw that opening on the left side. It's UB's home opener on the season. Little floater from the lane. No good by Bradley. Rebounded by the Bulls. That was David Skogman. His first Buffalo action in the ball game. Tipped up. No good. Skogman's got it. Oh, up yeah. And up and drills the triple. Sagu coming off a career-high 22 points in the loss to Bowling Green over the weekend. That was McIntyre hitting for Mercyhurst. And a miss. How much fun are you having broadcasting that team right now? <laughs> a lot. We'll have more on the football team with Athletic Director Mark Allnut coming up at the half. And uh, it's been a lot of fun trying to... I don't know how many Jonathan Williams and Keyshawn Brutons and Rondo Sagus and Javon Graves Mercyhurst plays yeah. on a night-to-night -night basis. So, well you know, this said. is a, a little bit different, obviously, than, than what they're used to. Well said. Cameron Gross had that first basket in the second half for Mercyhurst. Jonathan misses the three. Graves gets the rebound. You know what you're going to get with the big three, the, the studs for Buffalo, if you will. But a nice spread out offensive attack every player except for one who was checked in so far has gotten in the scoring chart for Buffalo Williams spins looks for the up and under move shut down and then stolen away into the lane little turnaround will not fall for Melky Moreau Great, and uh, Williams tried to force that one down low. It was knocked away. Not to accuse him of embellishing, but part of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Got to know how to get the whistles, right? Miss layup triggers the break. Here comes Janathan, a little fake behind the back. And listen in, and understandably, some schools decided to back off. But it's great to see David out here, and he's shown us something already in his limited minutes. Janathan Williams a little too hard. There's Skogman with the tip. It won't go found its groove here and is really playing some good basketball in the second half. It's a good team. It could be a charge too. We'll see if he's in the restricted area. Yeah, it's a block. One of only three teams in their conference that are still playing basketball, so it's get a very, very good Division One team before, as Paul said earlier, playing a couple games against Ferris State this weekend. To their next game, a Big Mac showdown with Miami on Wednesday. Planuda's no good off the glass. Rebounded by the Bulls. Sagu for Williams. Head and shoulder fake. Janathan drives. Can't hit. Moreau loses it. Here Here's go. Graves. Lead pass. Janathan Williams for the dunk. Lost to Bowling Green over the weekend. That was McIntyre hitting for Mercyhurst. And a miss.